Hey everybody, we're back with season two of Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elasticsearch and Kavana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. The series is created for developers who are just getting started with these two products. In season one, we learned about fundamental concepts of Elasticsearch and Kibana, such as when do we use these products? What is relevance? What are full text queries, aggregations, and mapping? We learned how these work by sending requests to Elasticsearch from the Kibana console. But now that we have these basics under our belt, we'll learn how to connect Elasticsearch to your app and use Elasticsearch to search and explore your data. We'll be building an Earthquake Watch app that enables the users to search for earthquakes. By specifying the quake type, magnitude, location, and date range, the user could retrieve earthquakes that match the user input. The search results could also be sorted by ascending or descending order of magnitude. Upon clicking on the search button, the results are displayed in the form of cards containing detailed information about each earthquake. To create this app, we'll build a full-stack web app with Node.js and React. Then, we'll connect the server to Elastic Cloud. By doing so, we'll have access to Elasticsearch hosted on Elastic Cloud. Next, we'll be ingesting global earthquake data into Elasticsearch, and we'll be getting this data from the USGS API. So, we'll set up our server to fetch the data from this API. Upon fetching the data, the server will send the data to Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch, in turn, will transform the data and ingest the data into an index. Now, after the data is ingested into Elasticsearch, we'll set up our client for search. Now, using our client, the user can search for earthquakes by selecting these criteria. And we'll set up our client to capture user's input and send the input to the server. The server, in turn, will pass the user input into an Elasticsearch request and send the request to Elasticsearch. Upon receiving the request, Elasticsearch will retrieve relevant results and send the results to the server. The server will send the results to the client, which will display the results for the user. We'll spend the majority of Season 2 learning how to build this app. Then we'll wrap up by learning how to visualize our earthquake data to find interesting patterns. So what you're looking at here is a Kibana dashboard, and it consists of various visualizations that reveal interesting information about earthquakes. We'll be using Kibana Lens to create these visualizations and explore our data even further. In order to follow along, you should have a basic understanding of Node.js, Express, and React. You should also have a terminal emulator, a code editor, and Node.js installed on your computer. Let's talk about the resources for this course. Now, the links for all of these resources are included in the description of this video. This season will build on fundamental concepts covered in season one. So if you need to brush up on these concepts, check out season one content on YouTube. I've also created a complimentary blog series to this YouTube course. All the terminal commands and code snippets I'll show you are included in this blog. So when you watch an episode, make sure to check out the description box because the link to the corresponding blog will be included there. Also, if you prefer learning by reading, the blog series would be a good alternative. Lastly, we have a GitHub repo for the series. You could access the entire project directory here. It consists of multiple branches, and each branch belongs to a specific video or blog of the series. Now, the video or the blog will contain the link to the corresponding branch, so you could easily access it. All right, we just went over what we'll be learning about in season two. Next, we'll take the first step by building a server using Node.js with Express. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.